Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today we went solo on a vanilla server and we're going to do some pretty fun wrecks to riches where we go from absolutely nothing to quite a ton of loot. Now this server is a bit weird. It is technically full vanilla meaning that there is no TPA and home but then there's a clothing mod and some plugins which show you kills, death and KD. But other than that the loot is pretty much normal with decay and also there are no kits. There's also a video of what type of loot I can get completely solo in just an hour. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. If we reach that like goal, I'll return on the same server and continue where we left off and perhaps even do a survival series. Also make sure to subscribe, each one helps the channel grow a ton and we're getting very close to 40,000 subscribers. Last video I announced the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize, please join my discord over at discord.gg slash ldg and contact me over there. Today we're going to run another one which is a melting recycling rig. If you guys want to win this, make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. If you are a channel member, you also have a higher chance of winning. But before we hop into the video, I would like to shout out today's sponsor. Are you guys looking to start your own hunter network with survival or roleplay, or even just a private server to play with your buddies? Then check out Pine Hosting. With Pine Hosting, you can set up your server in literally just a few minutes. The performance is very high quality and extremely easy to use and to learn. When I started off with my own network, I had literally no idea how to do anything, but with Pine Hosting's easy navigation, it only took me a few minutes to just learn the basics. They have global locations, affordable pricing, and hostings not just for Unturned, but for many other games, including Rust, Ark, and Minecraft. My favorite feature from Pine hosting is the fact that you can have a plugin and workshop installer, and with just one click, you can install them in your servers. If you guys are interested, make sure to use the code LDG for a huge discount of 30% off. The link will be in the description below, and let's get straight into the video. Alright, boys, I am in what's supposed to be a vanilla server. I have not played here. There is well, there's one kit. Okay, it doesn't give you anything good. Just gives you an axe, some food, that's basically it. Alright, gives you some XP though. Right, I don't know if we should still consider this as vanilla. But there's no kits, the loot is normal, I'm pretty sure. You don't get max skills. It's been a while since I played a server like this. Now, first things first is I am going to build a base. This gave me two logs, insane. By having a base is my top priority right now. If I do get any kills, I can just depot stuff. There is quite a lot of servers, which sadly nowadays for Unturned, there isn't really that much vanilla servers. So it's nice to see there's actual people playing on vanilla. But yeah, I'll probably build the base right over here. I think it's a good spot. We'll be close to farm, close to Seattle, and close to military. Obviously, I do want to get myself as much loot as possible. Try to get myself as much PvP as well. Now, the server is Ukrainian. So, I have no idea what probably anything that these players are saying. I should probably try to get myself a chainsaw, actually. Because with the axe, this is gonna take me a while. Probably build a one by one for now. I don't really want any insane base. Yeah, there's a base up there as well. We'll put the floor over here and the pillars too, and we could put a bed. There should not be TP or home either, which is good. And we'll put the bed over there. Let's claim that. Let's continue chopping down some more trees. It's gonna take a while. But after we're done here, we'll probably just head straight to military, try to get ourselves some guns. And then we'll start hunting some players. Alright, so I looted the farm, got myself a crossbow. Loot is normal. I hear people talking. I have no idea where that was from. But yeah, I've noticed that there are some modded vehicles. I have no idea what that car in front of me is. It looks very weird to a normal quad. <laughs> Trying to figure out where this guy that's talking is, though. Yeah, he's talking again. He's, he's kind of far, but he's still kind of close. But I don't know where he is. But yeah, I guess since there's not that much people, I guess we could do this video... As a wreck searches guide. Currently we're looting farm trying to get ourselves. Hopefully more arrows. But if there's a guy here that is geared. We'll obviously try to take him down. Oh, he's right there. Yeah he has a fire axe. Alright we hit him. Let's pick up the arrow because we only have one. Oh he missed. I mean he's probably. Oh he hit me. Yeah I'm bleeding out. So he's probably bleeding out as well. It was just. Oh yeah he died. He bled out. I right, didn't have anything though. That's the thing with Vanilla. We're probably gonna be killing a lot of. Barely geared players. I oh, had yeah, a blowtorch though, military knife, compound bow, some clothes. Alright, well, let's just med up. We did get ourselves barely any loot. Blowtorch is big though. That's actually a really, really good, important item. So I'm just gonna continue chopping down some trees. We're gonna upgrade outdoors so that maybe we get ourselves at least one more log per tree. Because most of the time they're just dropping two to three logs. Yeah, we should have... Oh, well, heartbreaker shots now. Yeah, the guy that I killed, I'm pretty sure he was in a duel. So now he has his buddy back with a heartbreaker. I'm gonna just continue finishing base. I don't have enough wood though. He's probably gonna try to push me. And the problem is I only have one arrow. Actually now I have multiple arrows. I'll just do the door. Oh yeah, he's back. I hear him talk. Oh, now Schofield as well. Yeah, it's like a team of three then. And I'm gonna run out of meds. Every time I get hit, I bleed. One of them is pushing. Oh, I missed. Yeah, there's bullet drop I didn't even realize. He's probably gonna push me. I missed again. Oh, I'm gonna die, yeah, I'm dead. Alright, well, there goes our progression already. 
Alright, so a bit of a bad start. It's completely fine. This time, instead of building a base, I will probably just try to get myself some loot first, and then we'll try to get into PvP. I guess the mistake was me just trying to have a base without any loot. So this time, we'll do it the other way around. Hopefully, I got myself a gun, though. That's what I really, really want. But over here, yeah, we got ourselves modded clothes. I didn't even know. So has modded clothes. I really wish it was full vanilla, like no mods. I mean, it still technically is because for me, vanilla meaning that there are no commands, no TPA, no home, no kits, none of that. It's a weird server. I know this checkpoint, there's also absolutely no weapons here. This is the true vanilla experience though. No guns, no matter where you go. Now we're gonna go straight to Heritage, try to hope for a Zubak or a Sniper Skia. Or literally even a Nykrev at this point, I will take it. So that I can go back, try to kill those Heartbreaker guys. Alright, looted heritage, absolutely nothing, got myself a 7x, other than that, got myself some metal and some cloth, now straight over to military, there's probably gonna be people in military though, so I don't know how we're gonna try to kill people, hopefully there's something up on the tower, but nope, just more knives, muzzle, I'll take the muzzle though, seems like it's already looted, yeah, there's nothing on the tower, man, oh, there's a guy in there, wait, he's going in the building, I have nothing, should I just try to go kill him with a knife? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Maybe he doesn't even hear me coming. Oh, adaptive. Okay, that's that's pretty good, actually. I'll take adaptive. Hey, he's right over there. Oh, yeah, he has he has no idea. He's dead. Oh, okay, yeah, he has some he has some stuff that we need. Thankfully, we got ourselves a saber suit. That's pretty good. A bunch of clothes. He had night vision. Modded. Bro, I really don't want to play modded. But it, it's okay. I mean, we'll take it for now. This crosshair is massive. Yeah, we have no XP. So we gotta start working on that. We got a, a housing planner. All right, I'll take that. So that's also pretty good. We can make crates. Don't have to sacrifice more metal. Alright, well, we finally got a gun. Uh, we're gonna salvage all of these clothes. I don't know which is better. I don't really care. But we have enough cloth to make a bed now as well. I'm gonna check out the tower still. Maybe we'll get ourselves lucky and get a heartbreaker. But okay, I'm all take that as the next best thing because we barely had any. Alright, so let's, let's fill up our mag. And next we'll go straight to Seattle. Hope for a mega zombie. Hopefully we'll the mega zombie can drop some heights here loads. And after that we'll see. Maybe we'll try to build a base then. To be honest, we can actually go back to the base that we were building and continue building that. Because we did kind of finish half of it. But then they just destroyed the bed. Alright, he's dead. And a blowtorch only. Honestly, I'll take it. We need that anyway. There's a guy there. Hit him. Hit him again. How the hell is he not dead? I think he has a gun though. He seemed kind of geared. Oh yeah, never mind. My guy just has night vision on. He's just hiding. Alright, let's fill up our saber. I mean, honestly, we have to kill players even if they don't have anything. Because later on, they may just get lucky, get a gun and, late and, and kill me. And we don't really want that. There's a guy pushing me, actually. Yeah, he's, this guy does seem with guns. I don't know what that is. Headshot. Double headshot. He's dead. He had an ace. I had multiple guns. He had two Cobras, ace, blunt force. I'll take the blunt force, actually. That was a pretty good gun on vanilla. Let's salvage all of the clothes. Make ourselves a billion dressings. Uh, not too bad. Let's take that metal. So... What we're going to do today is we're going to see what we can do with one hour worth of progression as a solo. So now this is what loot we've got. What I really want to do is like we can do a little checklist. Let's first of all have a base, at least one by one or two by one. Have ourselves some lockers, get ourselves a bunch of guns, fully decked our weapons, and perhaps getting some sort of raiding gear, either Dragon Fang, any sort of sniper rifle or detonator, rocket launcher, anything. There's an airdrop passing by, actually. We should totally go for that. Yeah, we should definitely go for it, actually. I don't think it's gonna land that far. I oh, hear a car. Oh, there's people driving by, and they're probably gonna go for it then. I mean, yeah, it's gonna alert a lot of people, so that's why we should definitely go for it. <laughs> Oh, rock explosive, lovely. Same time, we're trying to get ourselves as much XP as possible so that we can upgrade at least the first page. We still need to get crafting 3, and hopefully we'll get ourselves enough to get Sneaky Beaky as well. Because that skill is actually really, really OP. Especially on servers where you don't gain mech skills. Alright, yeah, Heartbreaker shots landed right over there. I don't know how we're gonna kill him, honestly. This guy just killed the duo. I'm gonna give it a try for sure, but... Let's say that I don't manage to kill them, they escape or something, they can't slash home because it's vanilla thankfully. But I will still go back to the airdrop and check what loot they had, he just killed somebody else, this guy is uh, he's on a roll, yeah this is the car that we saw, and I'm pretty sure there's actually somebody inside, cause there's, yeah there's somebody inside, I see his night vision on, he's coming over here, he blew up their car, oh, I see what's going on, these guys are a duo, this guy's just chilling inside the truck. And they're gonna try to leave with the truck. Yeah, the tr he, he's in the main seat now. We could try to kill him. Yeah, headshots. 
Another hit. Oh, this truck is fully armored. I can't even hit. Alright, well, I am in a very bad spot. I'm just gonna throw a grenade. Oh, that could actually kill him. Oh, oh my god, I killed both of them. I just killed two full-geared guys. Oh my god, yeah, they're actually stacked. Bro, Steel really I'm taking their truck. Alright, we're in. Bro, I just got everything. They're extremely geared. I don't even have space for everything. I need to drop what I don't want. I'll take the guns, blowtorch, a lot of metal, fussy lot, empire, scaler as well, blunt force, industrial gas can, shadow stalker. Alright, I've put some stuff in the trunk as well. Yeah. Hold on, I need to check what this dude had. Oh no, those are just the ragdolls. Yeah, this is the main load. But the fully decked out heartbreaker is actually insane. Bro, one grenade throw, two kills. Yeah, I'm full of loot, man. I'm getting out of here. I may have taken some of the worst items, but I need to leave before they come back. Yeah, they're telling me stuff in chat. There's a whisper command. I don't know what any of that means. He's probably just super mad or something. But I'm really happy with this loot, man. Yeah, I took some junk. I took Cobras. Yeah, it's a duo villain. But honestly, I could just go back with the car. I'm just gonna go to that base that I was building. Depot over there as quickly as possible. And then we'll go back. I left a Shadow Stalker, so... Honestly, it's fine. All I really needed is this Heartbreaker. Got ourselves another Fussy as well. No, it's kind of funny, man. Alright, so I've been chopping down a bunch of trees. Base one by one is done. Made myself a bed as well. Now I'm gonna make myself some crates. But I love this progression, man. For some reason, some of the base is decaying. I hope there's no decay system or any of that in the... So yeah, that, my base is decaying somehow. Probably need a generator. Not really a fan of that plugin, to be honest. Alright, let me make some crates. Put all of the guns and all of the goodies. Basically what I saved. Regardless of... Oh, there's people outside. Let's try to kill him. He's right here. He's dead. I oh, don't have anything that good. Yeah, I had a hawk on. I mean, I'll take the hawk on. The hawk on is a seriously underrated weapon. I can't even do this jump. All right, well, we need to rebuild the wall and the doorway. We'll just do them on the other side. It's fine. Got to have some metal from this dude, too. So I'll take that. I hear it. What is that? Is that a tank? Oh, yeah, it is a tank. Probably those guys that I killed are trying to find me or something. Those guys seem geared, though. Yeah, they're coming back. What are they doing? They have a fully decked out tank, bro. What is that? I really don't want them to see me. The problem is I have chopped trees around, so they may be thinking I'm here. He's right over there. Let's just go to the side. Did they I don't know if they saw me, actually. Yeah, this car, for some reason, has two sound effects when it's being driven. There's the sound of a tank and the sound of a car at the same time. Oh, shots. I can't place the door for some reason. It's blocked by the bed. Yeah, he just killed somebody. I could go try to kill him, but if I do kill him, they would definitely just come back. And they would find where my base is. And I don't want them to find out where it is because I'm pretty sure they have enough raiding gear. Yeah, they, they took the truck as well. They took the truck that I stealed. Thankfully, I managed to take everything from the trunk though. And they're gone. Uh, I think it's actually a, a good idea if I move base. I do have a housing planner, so shouldn't be that hard. Problem is, I don't have that much space. I still build it next to military because I'm pretty sure that they think that this is the base. And I don't want them to raid me. Alright, so base has been successfully moved. I should have got enough logs now. But it's literally right next to military. It's just on the opposite hill. And I still need to go back and get more loot from the old base. But I did make some more crates over here. I didn't get the best loot, just in case. Alright, and now I feel a bit safer at least. We actually do have some pretty decent loot. If we, if we get ourselves a detonator, we can already start crafting C4. So that's that's pretty good. And we've been on the server for not really that long. I really want to go check as well where I killed them to see if they did go back. Because there's still a lot of loot over there. For some reason, I got a gas mask even though on Washington it's pretty useless. Now let's switch to the adaptive as well on this heartbreaker. Now obviously we're gonna still go for a no that's challenge. We did die once, but that's basically it when I had a crossbow. The base is apparently decaying. I have no idea how that works. But yeah, now we're just gonna go military loot. It's pretty much all the only thing I'm gonna do. Military Seattle. And perhaps even Heritage. We'll see what kind of loot we can get in the next 30 minutes. Oh wait, that truck is here. There's a dude right here. He's dead. Those guys may- Oh, there's a mega zombie actually. Okay, that's huge. And he had some ammo. I have a gun, but I mean, I'll take the ammo. Definitely do need that. Right, let's try to get rid of the flamer. Let's just back up a bit. Shoot him down. He dropped ammo. Lovely. Alright, that mega zombie is actually huge. We definitely should kill him. He may drop, hopefully, a detonator. If he does, that would be honestly insane. Because again, we can craft C4. Thing is, I'm kind of paranoid that those guys, that duo, are here. 
Because that's the exact same truck that what I stole. And last time we were here, I didn't see it. It's also raining. Alright, there's some attachments. Vertical grip. I already have one. That's good. We could put that for the fussy lot then. There's people in the car, I think. Oh yeah, there's people driving for sure. Oh, there's a guy behind me. Oh, there was a guy peeking back there. Yeah, there's the, it's the duel with the truck again. It's a different truck though. Right, well, this guy probably thought I didn't see him. I should go on the tower actually. Where the hell did he go? Wait, is he even here anymore? No, there's a zombie following me. Oh, there's shots. Wait, he just killed somebody. I think he killed the guy that was behind me. Yeah, I think they're gonna drive away. Well, these guys are just... They just use their car. They don't run around at all. Kinda makes them hard to kill. And I don't think I'll get lucky again to kill them with a grenade. I should just try to kill that mega zombie. Yeah, they're driving away. Let's go location to location, killing nakeds probably. Let me make sure that they actually leave and then we'll take down the mega zombie. Uh, let's just take him out as quickly as possible. Uh, he is dead and okay, Grizzly. Grizzly is actually really good. We did get our one raiding weapon. That's lovely. Uh, I'm gonna go straight back to base the depot with this. I'm not gonna run around with it. Especially since people may have probably heard me shoot. Alright, so tonight we're in the server for 40 minutes basically. Again, today we're doing a challenge to see what kind of loot we get in an hour. On a full vanilla server, except for the mods. So it's looking pretty good. We got the main loot from PvP. Base is saying it's decaying, but it's not. It's very weird. Let's put some attachments on the Grizzly so that we can preserve some space as well. Yeah, we need to make ourselves more storage. So I'm probably gonna work on getting myself crafting 3 next. Let's just drop that for now, put the metal in there. Yeah, I'm gonna go get myself crafting 3. We do have a lot of metal, man. So we may as well just get ourselves lockers and get rid of all of that metal. I'm gonna salvage the Desert Falcon, very useless gun. And we can stack them. Yeah, those guys are back with the truck. But I think I just found a, a decayed base. I mean, there's logs in here. I really don't understand how this decay system works, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. There's a bed, nothing. Low torch, some ammo, the gauze skin. Oh, out here there is the truck, by the way, which is not even locked. Okay, I'll take that. So it's higher. I'm not gonna drive it, though. I'm just gonna keep it there. Now, I did loot Seattle. I didn't really get that much loot, but I was focusing on getting XP for crafting 3. I did get myself some more ammo, basically. There's a guy over there. He's naked, though. So let's just let's just leave him loot military for now, and then we'll go back later, kill him, and take whatever he has looted. I did get myself some food, some vitamins, stuff we need in vanilla. Right, we could drop the hawk hunt for now. I need to get myself some more storage very quickly, man. All right, so lockers have been crafted. I can make more. I do have quite a ton of more metal. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop everything that I have from my main crates. Anything that's good, especially grizzly pvp guns raw explosive grenades all of that i'm going straight in these lockers there's a guy coming from the hill uh, he seems like he has a gun but i think he's naked also i'm pretty sure that duo left uh, the server is kind of dying out everybody that was here is leaving so i don't know if we consider this as domination since we kind of killed everyone even though we haven't really been here for longer but i'm gonna try to kill this dude i don't know if this was the same guy that we let live I'm really confused let's just clear out the zombies hiding somewhere. Oh, these zombies just keep following me everywhere, man. There, yeah, they're dead. Yeah, I don't know where he went. Is he hiding? I'm so confused. Are oh, you speaking? Oh, he's dead. There we go. He had PDW. He had PDW and the dressing. PDW had some attachments, so that's pretty good. All right, well, I'm gonna head straight back to base. The hour did unfortunately pass, but I'm really happy with the progression we did today. Now, if you guys do want to see more in this in the future like this I had a great time especially if we even return on the same server then let me know the next time we'll do some raiding hopefully we won't get offline raided or any of that though well all right everybody that's going to be it for this video i really hope that you enjoyed now if you guys want to see more in the future like this i did have a good time it's a bit of a challenge a bit of a different type of video but yeah let me know in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye